Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of the Gym Leader Castle. Today we're taking on Giovanni, the Viridian Gym Leader and who's also a ground type Pokemon leader. So, oh man, he's got Team Rocket, Lab Man, and Cool Boy. <laughs> we're using one of our registered sets, which is our uh, randomized Pokemon from our Pokemon Blue Randomizer gameplay. If you want to check that out, the link is in the comment, uh, is in the uh, description below, so go check that out. Got Moltres. He's got a fucking Moltres. All right, so bring out. I also want to bring out Lightning Puff and the Dragonite. These would be the best options. None of them would know Ice Beam, so Dragonite's not gonna be too much of an issue. We're not gonna have too much of an issue against them. Son of a bitch. Hydro pump it is, boys. The hydro pump it is. It knows toxic? I mean, it is a move that it can learn. I, I've learned that. That toxic is definitely a, lear a move that the three birds can learn. Oh man, I got lucky on those. I just remember it's not supposed to hit that often. <laughs> the next Pokemon is being oh man. That's a... What? 49 out of a 100 chance to hit twice in a row? Alright, well definitely using Ice Beam here. It is a Grass or Bug type Pokemon. Ice Beam or Fire Punch should take it out easily. Growth? Okay. It's not bad. If it was going to hit me, but it's not going to hit me. Ooh, taking it out. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Go back. One. Go back. One. Go back to one. All right, uh, I guess I gotta use Ice Beam. I think that's the best move I have against it. Because I think it is also a flying type Pokemon. I think it's Poison Flying. Uh, critically hit, and that's it. That's, it's down. How the hell did this Team Rocket Trainer catch himself a Moltres? That's what I'm wondering. How did he get a Moltres? <laughs> this is, that, that's, that, that, that's fucking good. That's real fucking good. I'm gonna continue. Like, that's way too good, man. Okay, um... Crap, there's so many different Pokemon I can use here. I'm gonna bring out Dragonite first. Uh, then Lightning, then Puff. There's a- there, cause you have a ton of different Pokemon here that, like, Make me worry. None of them will know Ice Beam or Dragon type moves. But I believe my Dragonite is pretty good against the majority of your team. Because I have Thunderbolt. They strike fighting poses. Whoa, Super effective, I don't think it's gonna take yeah. I didn't think it was gonna take it down. Polyrath has a lot of each of uh, defense and HP. He's a pretty jacked dude. The intense battle continues. All right, let's use Thunderbolt again. It's down and out, man. I think that then that, like, when I get to round two, I'm bringing my Mewtwo into this. I am not playing without that Mewtwo. Uh, and I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get rid of either Flyweed or, uh, or Arbok, since I rarely use those two. What now? I don't have any good moves against Licky Tongue or Tongue Licky. I'm gonna switch. Oh, fuck. The How do you know this? Alright, that's it. I'm switching Pokemon. I'm gonna move on to Puff. 
I am not having my Dragon Knight just get utterly dominated by a Tongue Licky in the second round. I did not think he would know Blizzard. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he barely did any damage to me. Yes, it will. I like that there's no items in battle. Double team? Alright, that's not bad. I wonder if I could do like a randomized Colosseum. I wonder if that would work. I don't know. I haven't actually beaten Colosseum. I've never, I've never beaten it. I've played some, some of it. I've never beaten it though. Abu Tops. You know, what? I'll keep using Puff until he dies. So I think he'll die soon. Uh, okay. Using double team. I don't know if he's Water type or if he's Ice. No, he's definitely Water type. I'll uh, keep using Ice Beam, Ice to try to see if I can freeze him. There we go. <laughs> I don't think your double team is going to help you here if you're frozen solid, man. I should be able to hit you every turn. Well, no shit. It's not going to do much damage. Alright, this should be easy now. Just take him out. There we go. And there goes the battle. All right, we can continue now. Hmm. Crap. He's got a lot. Um. Yeah, Dragon Knight. Definitely. Uh. Any other ones? I mean, Lightning's pretty good. I mean, Dragon Knight can take down Omastar, Zapdos, Rioster, Cruel Store, and Pink Store. I'll bring Lightning, because Lightning can take down some of them as well. And then... Crap, do I want to bring Jelly off? No, I don't really think I want to bring Jelly. Hmm, bring Puff for that extra Ice Beam. Here's the third trainer battle with only why, the why, why this guy has Zapdos, I don't know. Why does Giovanni... There we go, yep. Well, I'm going to... Oh, I don't have Ice Beam? Oh, I do have Bumerang, however it is Flying-type Pokemon. Crap, uh, I gotta switch to Puff. I forgot that Dragonite does not have Ice Beam. And Ground type moves do not work because he's flying. Rock type moves still work though. But no one I know has Rock type moves. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. Critical hit, don't kill me. Thank you. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Good thing that we took the, took him down. Table store. Crap. Gonna have to use ice beam on it. We're gonna use thunderbolt. Oh wow! I thought that would do a lot more damage to me. All right, I'm definitely going down this turn. Yeah, unless this misses, which it doesn't have like any chance to miss. Oh, 
Crap, I'm trying to think, like, what should I bring out? Which Pokemon is coming out? I got Lightning, because Lightning should be able to deal... Should be able to take out Pable Star. Oh, it's Jolteon! The Pokemon are entirely different types. Yeah, it's normal type versus my electric type. Uh, man. I'm gonna try to keep using Ice Beam on it. Seismic Toss? Well, you deal 100 damage to me. I got a 233 now, yeah. You didn't even critically hit me with that, because it's just gonna deal 100 damage, even if you critically hit me with it. Ah, oh, darn, I thought that would take you out. Alright, I now got another 133. Alright, and I'll finish you off with another Ice Beam. Yeah, it's a hit! Alright, this should be a relatively cruel sore. I'll have to use Ice Beam, see if I can freeze it. I don't have any good moves against them. I'm not going to switch out Pokemon. Oh, wow, there we go. I'll switch out Pokemon now. <laughs> this gives me a free turn to move. And then I'll just use Thunderbolt. Take him out from uh, Dragonite. Oh wow, it's faster than me. I did not think that would be true. But I still get an additional turn if it, if it unfreezes itself. I still get a, a turn because it has to like, its turn is to unfreeze. Here we go, let me just one. Next up is Giovanni. There we go. We did it, guys. We beat a third guy. Cool boy. We lost Gengar. Wow. Alright, up next is Giovanni. Maybe we can take him out. Oh, yeah. This is definitely, you know, Puff Jelly Lightning. Actually, do I want to bring lightning? Up, jelly, dragonite. I don't want to bring lightning because you know he. They might have earthquakes, which is what I'm afraid of. That they're gonna have a ton of earthquake moves. And my my only like winning strategy here is he's ice beam and surf. I, but if it has earthquake, then I'm fucked. Yeah, fire blast. What will the trainer do now? A decent hit. That, that, a furious battle. Was that a decent hit announcer, man? That dealt like no damage to me. What now? Hit the weak spot. Ooh, critically hit it. Oh, is it down and out? Just having like Pokemon advantage on this. Just make it, it, it's too good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ice Beam it. We're Ice Beam it, this man. He's got more health than me. Oh, super effective, man. Oh no, you have Blizzard? I mean, it's not gonna deal too much to me unless you, like, freeze me. Which, yeah, if you, if you freeze Pokemon in this game, it's basically a guaranteed loss, because... If you're frozen, you almost, like... Every single episode that, that I've shown, shown this so far, no no Pokemon have like ever come out of being frozen. Unless I've hit them with a fire mode. No Pokemon has ever become unfrozen. Which is sad, because 
being frozen is game breaking. Alright, I, I have three Pokemon against your one Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. And th like this is so easy. Oh yeah, we're taking it out next turn. Yeah, Thunderbolt's not gonna do too much to me. That's what I like about Puff. Wow, going down! Well, we beat Giovanni. All that's left right now is our, uh... Is the Elite Four? And then the Rival. For Gym Leader Challenge. Then we get to go into like the Poke Cups. We receive the key from Giovanni to open the gate to the last castle, which has the Elite Four. But with that, guys, that actually marks the end of this episode. You will catch us next time when we go up against the Elite Four. Uh, let's hope we can win. I mean, we've, we've won against every other Pokemon so far. We beat the Elite Four in our randomized playthrough, but that is mostly because they had a bunch of like starter Pokemon and some of them had like Caterpie and Kakuna and stuff but if you want to check that out it's in the link below or then it's in the description below so you can go check that out and see how we got this team and you know what what we decided to do with our team uh other than that remember to like comment and subscribe I will see you guys next time when we take on the Elite Four thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys later <music>